If you are thinking of getting started with the Dexcom G6 continuous glucose monitor, then stick around. Because in this video I will be sharing my honest experience with the Dexcom G6 system as my daily driver for more than 7 months. Let's go! This will be a longer video because I just have so much to share about this system. But as always you can use timestamps down below to skip to the topic that you are most interested in. Before I jump into it I just want to say that this video is not sponsored by Dexcom. I'm just sharing my own personal experience experience and trying to help you navigate your diabetes journey. You can sponsor this video by hitting the like button. So what exactly is Dexcom G6? Well Dexcom G6 is a continuous glucose monitor aka CGM and it works like this. You place the G6 patch which consists of a sensor and this great transmitter on your abdomen on or your arm. The sensor has a tiny filament that is placed under your skin and the filament reads your glucose levels. The transmitter automatically feeds the data from the sensor to your mobile mobile phone or your Dexcom reader via Bluetooth every 5 minutes as long as the receiving device is within a 6 meter distance. On the screen of your receiving device you will see what your glucose is right now, your daily graph which shows you how your glucose has been trending in the past few hours and a trend arrow which tells you where your glucose is headed. And the arrows are super helpful because they give you a good prediction of where your glucose will be in the nearest future. And having the information not only from the past but also from the future Future is a huge game changer. This bad boy right here is factory calibrated, so it will read your glucose without you having to calibrate it or prick your fingers at all. Another great feature of the system are customizable alerts, and these will warn you when your blood sugar is too high or too low. More about alerts in a minute. Let's talk about design now. The whole set is quite small when placed on your body, and it's water resistant, so you can do pretty much anything you want with it. You can exercise, you can swim, you can take showers, everything is possible. It weighs 28 grams and it's not even 2 inches long. I will put the exact dimensions on the screen but what I'm trying to say is that when you're wearing the system on your arm on, on your belly you will probably not even be aware that it's there after a couple days. Now if this is your first CGM it might take a couple days to get used to it but from my experience it shouldn't be a problem. It doesn't hurt, it's quite comfortable and wearing it doesn't bother me at all. The only minor complaint I have is that the whole combo is a bit too tall and sometimes you will bump into things or accidentally pull it out when you are getting dressed. So you just have to be a bit careful. It also happened to me that I lie on the sensor a few times. And this is not good because if you put too much pressure on the sensor it might lead to compression low and the system will be giving you very low readings even in situations where you're actually not low. But overall I think the Dexcom G6 design is quite decent. I would definitely appreciate if it was a little bit more sleek but I guess for that we will have to wait until the next generation generation Dexcom G7 is on the market. The last thing that bothers me a bit about the Dexcom design is the adhesive. It didn't irritate my skin or anything like that but it's supposed to last 10 days and it almost never does. Usually it starts peeling off after a few days so I have to use an additional patch to keep the sensor on. Now I would say that getting started and applying your first sensor is not difficult. You just need to follow the instructions when you're doing it for the first time. The exact steps you have to take are described in both the user manual or in the Dexcom G6 app which you can download to your phone. When you download the app it will take you through the startup process step by step from cleaning your skin to inserting the sensor, attaching the sensor transmitter and pairing the transmitter with your receiver. And if you are scared of needles I have good news for you because the sensor insertion doesn't hurt. It's like a little tiny finger prick. There is a little needle in it so you might feel it going in but it's hidden in the sensor inserter so you won't see it and it comes right out. The only thing that stays under your skin is a tiny filament which doesn't hurt at all. After you start a new sensor it takes two hours for the sensor to warm up and after these two hours you will start receiving your glucose readings. By the way I have a dedicated video where I show you how to get started with the Dexcom G6 system and how to insert your first sensor. So I will link it here and in the description below in case you want to check it out. The Dexcom G6 wear time is 10 days so after 10 days you need to do a side change. Now the side change is a little tricky because after you peel off the patch you can dispose of the old sensor but you should not dispose of the great transmitter because the transmitter lasts for three months. So what you do is you apply a new sensor and place the great transmitter on top of it. And from my experience I have been able to use both the transmitter and the sensor for the whole period of the official lifetime. I just had to put an additional patch on it from time to time. In my experience the transmitter goes even longer than advertised. In my case it was usually 110 days that I could use the transmitter instead of 
three months which is the official lifetime and if you are in an emergency situation you can try to extend the sensor as well to get more than those 10 days of use as i already mentioned the dexcom g6 alarms are highly customizable and the system will alert you when your glucose is too high too low when your blood glucose is rising or dropping too fast or when your receiving device loses the signal from your sensor you can pick and choose which alarms you want to use that rhymes really well doesn't it you can also set your own levels at which you want to get alerted what i do is i set 4.5 millimoles for my lows and 8.5 millimoles for my highs the system will allow you to set your low alert anywhere between 3.1 and 5.9 millimole and your high alert anywhere between 6 and 22 millimole you can set the alerts to vibrate only or you can pick an alert sound that works for you as well as if and how often you want the alerts to be repeated so for example if you have the repeat set at one hour the system will alert you when you are high and it alerts you again in another hour if you are still high if you don't drop back to your ideal range and you also have an option to get alerted when your glucose is rising or dropping sharply and this can help you catch those moments that can lead to very high or very low blood sugar before it's too late you can switch any alerts on and off as often as you want so for example if you don't want to be alerted during an important meeting when your blood sugar is high you can simply switch off the alert and then switch it back on when the meeting is over the only alerts that you can never switch off or set to vibrate only is the urgent low alert so anytime your blood sugar drops below 3.1 millimole the system will start screaming and the alert for this one is quite loud now let's talk about accuracy and before we do so i just want to tell you that the dexcom g6 system just like any other cgm doesn't take the readings from your blood it takes them from the interstitial fluid which is the fluid between your blood vessels and cells but the interstitial fluid gives a very precise indication of what your actual blood sugar is the only thing to keep in mind is that the interstitial fluid glucose tends to be lagging behind the blood glucose in my case the lag is approximately 10 minutes but to be honest the longer i use the system the less i notice the lag so i give a thumbs up to the dexcom algorithm and if you are enjoying this video so far you might want to hit that like button too but back to accuracy i've been using the system for over half a year and most of the times the readings are very accurate if if not on point with my readings from the glucometer and by the way the clinical studies show very good accuracy on a statistically significant sample of patients as well the only time when i have issues with accuracy is the first few hours after i apply a new sensor and during those initial few hours the readings are usually way lower than they should be it happened many times that right after the application the sensor was showing me like two or three millimole uh, i was actually six or seven in reality so this is a big difference and the first few hours are just very inaccurate for me personally i cannot even turn off the urgent low alarms the issue always goes away after a few hours so it's not really that big of a deal in a big picture but i think this is the main drawback on the system at least for me but other than that i'm honestly very happy with dexcom accuracy the longer i use dexcom the better i feel about the system's accuracy another great feature of dexcom g6 that helps with accuracy is that you can calibrate it so if you have a feeling that your g6 readings are a bit off you can prick your finger and tell the sensor what your actual blood glucose is and after you do that the system will calculate the average of the number that you just gave it from the finger prick and the number that the system was reading before which is the new base going forward and if you do that right it usually helps fix any inaccuracy issues i personally never calibrate during the first eight hours i've tried that once and i think i totally messed up the system with this calibration because the system just couldn't make sense of the very low number it was reading from the interstitial fluid and the relatively higher number that i gave to it and from that on it just stopped reading at all to be honest the longer i use the system the less i calibrate it and the more i rely on it these days i only calibrate maybe once a month or so when i see a difference between my blood sugar readings from the glucometer and from the sensor in moments when my blood sugar is flat line and when it's flat line i usually find the calibration most effective when my glucose is moving up or moving down the calibration usually doesn't work very well next i want to talk about apps the dexcom g6 system is fully supported by the dexcom g6 app that you can use on your smartphone the app is very easy to navigate and it gives you all the information that you might need right now it tells you your current glucose where you're headed it gives you alarms and you can also add notes or any events like food or exercise the app will 
not show you any long-term reports, statistics and graphs. For that you need a separate app called Clarity. And the Clarity app is really amazing. It gives you and your doctor all the information you need to fine-tune your food intake, insulin dosage and everything else you might need to take your blood sugar control to the next level. You just need to look at it from time to time. And because the Clarity app doesn't work on my phone and I have to look at it on my laptop, to be honest I don't look at it as often as I would want. But it is a great tool, I would definitely recommend that you use it as much as you can. If you want to share your data with your loved ones or if you want to follow your loved ones then you need to install a separate app called Dexcom Follow. And with the Follow app you can view the data from the sensor that is on someone else's body somewhere else. The Follow app doesn't receive the data directly from the sensor but it receives it from the Dexcom server. By the way I will put links to all the apps that I talked about today in the show notes so that you can check them out. Now before I talk about how much the Dexcom G6 costs and whether I would recommend it to someone. I want to talk about integration with other devices because this is the area where the system really stands out crashing the competitors. So with Dexcom G6 I can get my blood glucose readings on my phone, I can share my data with my wife using the follow app and I can also view my numbers and my graphs on my watch. And if you ever get your glucose readings on your watch I can guarantee you, you will never want to go back. It is so so much easier to just take a quick glance on your wrist than having to pull up a phone or a reader. My Apple Watch is dedicated only to four things. Time, exercise, blood sugar and Apple Pay. I don't do anything else on it. And I find it really great to not have to pull up my phone with hundreds of notifications on it just to look what my blood glucose is. Because when I go to my phone I just start looking at those notifications and I totally forget to check my blood sugar. So having the numbers on my watch has been a game changer for me. Game changer. Game changer. And just to make it clear the data doesn't go directly from the sensor to the watch. It actually goes first to the phone and then from the phone it goes to the watch. You still need to have your phone on you to be able to view your data on the Apple Watch. If you go for a run and leave your phone at home you will not see anything on your Apple Watch. Now what I absolutely love about Dexcom G6 and I'm not exaggerating is that it integrates with my insulin pump and this has been huge for me because when I connect the G6 with the pump the sensor feeds my blood sugar data directly to the pump and I can turn on the control IQ function and create a closed loop. And with the closed loop the insulin pump automatically adjusts the insulin dosage depending on the information about my current blood glucose and the blood glucose trend. And this takes a lot of work out of my plate because the pump is doing it for me. And I'm making a separate video on this topic so if you are interested about control IQ stay tuned. But now let's talk about how much the Dexcom G6 system will cost you. And this very much depends on the country where you live and your insurance coverage. My insurance covers 27 Dexcom G6 sensors and 3 Dexcom G6 transmitters per year. So if I go by the official sensor and transmitter lifetime then my insurance covers me for 270 days. And that leaves me with a three month period where I either need to purchase additional nine Dexcom sensors and additional one Dexcom transmitter or I just don't use the system. Or I have to find some creative off-label solution to extend the sensor lifetime which I don't recommend that you do but if you want to do it uh, maybe check this video here. Paying for the system out of pocket can easily cost you between 200 and 300 dollars depending on where you live. That's a lot of money. So is it worth it? Well that's something you have to decide for yourself because everyone just has different priorities what to do with that kind of money. In my opinion it is totally worth it to pay for a CGM. It doesn't have to be Dexcom but having a CGM will take your blood sugar control to the next level. I guarantee you that. I started using a CGM four years ago and my blood sugar control improved dramatically. Game changer. Dexcom G6 specifically is the system that I used over the last seven months and it's the device I like the most compared to the solutions that are available on the market right now that I tried. The main reason why it is my favorite system and again we all might have different priorities is that it integrates with my insulin pump. The closed loop just does some of the diabetes management work for me when I sleep, when I work or when I just make videos for you. I don't have to think about how much insulin to take and how to adjust my insulin dosage depending on the number that is on the screen right Right now, but there are many things I don't like that much about Dexcom G6. It's a bit too bulky, the adhesive is not strong enough, it has a two hour warm up time and it's quite inaccurate during the first few hours after sensor insertion. And if these things are really important to you then definitely check out this video here where I compare Dexcom G6 to 
Freestyle Libre 2, which is much better in these respects. If you decide to go for Dexcom G6, then check out this playlist here that has more than 10 videos with different Dexcom G6 tips and hacks. I will see you there. Ciao!